parametric trolling. The concept of parametric trolling is relatively new. A wave which is approximately equal to the length of the ship and which is traveling in a direction same as the ship or reciprocal is the most dangerous way. By this what I mean is if here's a ship and this is the direction of travel of the ship the wave is traveling this way or the wave is traveling opposite way so long as the wavelength is approximately equal to the length of the ship this wave is most dangerous for the ship strength wise as well as stability wise if the wave compared to this ship length if the wave is like this of such short wavelength or the wavelength of the wave is so big such waves don't cause much concern but if you have a wave whose wavelength is approximately equal to the length of the ship they cause maximum bending and they cause an effect what we will understand now as parametric rolling effect the gz curve or the curve of statical stability which is given by the shipyard to the ship actually assumes that the water level is steady so let us say this is the profile of the ship and here is the water level now the gz curve provided by the shipyard is like this what happens if you have a wave whose wavelength is approximately equal to the length of the ship and it has a crest amid ship the effect of that is the gz curve shrinks and alternately when the same wave has got the trough amid ship the gz curve amplifies so Alternately what happens is when the movement of the wave like this is along the ship or reciprocal to the ship alternately the gz curve amplifies and diminishes in size it fluctuates all the stability parameter due to the fluctuation of stability parameters what happens is alternately the ship becomes stiff tender tender stiff one of the conditions that is favorable for development of excessive amplitude of roll because of parametric reasons is the pitching period is half of the rolling period that means by the time the ship completes half roll a complete pitching oscillation occurs and pitching period is same as wave encounter period which means when we look at the rolling here is the ship upright here is the ship gone extreme on one side then here is the ship extreme on the other side let us say when the ship has gone extreme on starboard side there is trough amid ship and as the ship comes to the upright position there is crest amid ship once again when the ship has gone extreme on the port side the trough is amid ship. so the ship as it rolls here is the trough amid ship crest amid ship trough amid ship so here the vessel is stiff vessel is tender vessel is again stiff so this is trough amid ship crest amid ship trough amid ship so as the vessel is on starboard extreme with trough amid ship and the vessel behaves like stiff the writing capability of the ship is very high because the writing moment is high so the vessel comes with a great momentum and as the vessel crosses the upright position she is tender and she goes on to the other side she does not stop to the initial roll angle she goes beyond that angle and similar thing happens on the other side so this is happening because of the ship being stiff here tender here stiff here if we see a similar explanation can be given while the vessel is tender here tender here and stiff here now because of the vessel alternately becoming stiff and tender by the virtue of this parameter cyclically changing this extra roll which is generating the extra amplitude that is generating the name of this kind of excessive rolling is called parametric 
Let us see how she behaves in the synchronism of rolling and pitching. As I said, pitching period is same as wave encounter period and pitching period is half of the rolling period. What it means basically is if we look at the ship rolled extreme on support side with the trough amidship and trough amidship means the stability of the ship is high, the GZ curve is amplified and if we look at the side elevation of the ship in this posture let us say she is trimmed by stern like this. Again when the vessel becomes upright the crest amid ship ship is trimmed and again when the vessel has rolled extreme to the starboard side the side elevation of the ship looks like this so as the vessel has rolled extreme on the port side we see the vessel stern pitched as the ship comes upright she is pitched by head again when she goes extreme on to the starboard side she is pitched by stern so what we see is from here to here it is half of the rolling cycle and from here to here it is a complete pitching cycle and this happens this happens in parametric rolling to give a favorable amplitude of pitching Let us list down all the conditions which are favorable for making a parametric roll. So to start with, number one, direction of wave approximately same or reciprocal to the ship's direction of movement. Number two, the wavelength approximately equal to the length of the ship. Number three, pitching period, half of the rolling period, pitching period equal to the wave encounter period. And number four, the vessel is new generation container vessel. And it also happens when there is a buff stern vessel. following scene. Now we have already talked about these points. Now let us look at this new generation container type vessel. Now this new generation container vessels they are streamlined under water and above water there is a large flare to accommodate containers. Now these vessels that is the new generation type container vessels the forward pitches down along with the buoyancy of the flare have you tried to put a ball in a swimming pool or something like that about a meter below the water level and you release the ball what happens the ball goes with tremendous recoil this is what probably happens when the forward pitches down the buoyancy of the flare adds to an extra pitching aft so what we are seeing here is because of fluctuation of stability parameter alternate roll can become of high amplitude and because of alternate pitching that is the forward or aft the flares going underwater the recoil causing an extra pitching on the alternate pitching cycle now let us look at these buff stern vessel with following C now here is a buff stern vessel and following C the waves are traveling like this in general if the beam of the vessel is relatively more the ship will tend to be stiff vessel in case of following seas there is always a possibility of the gz curve fluctuating to a big size and a small size that we have already seen but now let us look at another concept as if we are not talking about the crest and trough we are just talking about the vessel pitching and as the vessel pitches this type of vessel when it pitches 
for a given roll on the starboard side say of 15 degrees as the bow pitches down the distance between center of buoyancy and center of gravity will be say x and for the same amount of roll on the starboard side when the stern pitches the distance between center of buoyancy and center of gravity will be y now this x and y are not equal in a particular pitching the bg that is the transverse distance between bg is x and on the reverse pitching the transverse distance is y x is not equal to y this means as the vessel is pitching in half the cycle the vessel is behaving like stiff vessel and another half of the pitching cycle she is behaving like a tender vessel the vessel is alternately and cyclically becoming stiff and tender and this gives rise to parametric roll once again now parametric rolling even if the lashings were taken properly these ships in certain sea conditions they found that the rolling is excessive and they found that this is happening to a particular type of ship more than the other type of ships now because this is one of the synchronized rolling types because the ship's rolling or pitch behavior is synchronizing with the wave encounter period the action which should be taken is basically to break the synchronism the synchronism can be broken by alteration of the course or reduction of the speed or both this is sometimes in certain conditions the increase of speed might sometimes help to break the synchronism but what we are saying is if say for example there is a head c and if we reduce the speed to break the synchronism that would be better than increasing the speed to break the synchronism because then the wave impact on the ship is reduced also at the same time so this was parametric rolling